Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay. Can I please ask about your introduction first? Yes, sir. Sir, my name is Manisha Thakur and I'm from Darlaghat. I was born and brought up there. And recently, I'm studying in GPCC Bilaspur and I live in joint family. There are 24 members in my family and I live with them recently, but I'm here to study. I love to read books. I love to play kabaddi, football and a lot of games. Mm -hmm. And after that uh, uh, if i talk about my studies mm -hmm. i i have my geography major and mm -hmm. uh, recently i'm studying that all right um, as you said that you have been active in ac outdoor activities like yes, kabaddi and football yes, so why did you choose this why not indoor games actually sir when i was uh, uh, in fifth class uh, my mother told me that i was you know quite a shy uh, in between all the children who lives in my house, my cousins. So she told me to uh, go to sports and that's why I start doing sports, especially Kabaddi. Kabaddi is my favorite game all right. and I love to play that. What do you think about indoor games? Indoor games. Actually, sir, indoor games are good. If you are with your family, with your cousins, they are good. But for your health, for your, uh, you know, sometimes people are being pressurized because of their work. They got stressed. So outdoor games must be a good way uh, to reduce that. So I think outdoor games are good as compared to indoor games. All right. But in indoor games, right, there are so many advantages if we come to that. Yes. For example, you can play it in any weather. There is no problem of the temperature outside, the environment. It doesn't matter. But outdoor games, you need to have a specific kind of uh, conditions <coughs> outside. Yes, Don't you think so that indoor games are better? Yes, sir, it is. But if we see uh, our health point of view, then uh, outdoor games are good. But yeah, indoor games are very much fun. If it's raining outside, you can't go anywhere. You can't go to outdoor activities or the court where you play the games. So indoor games are a good way to, you know, uh, get a time to be used. All right. Well, so would you please tell me why did you take geography? Actually, sir, I want to uh, give an exam, mm -hmm. uh, CDS, and it's my aim. So that's why I take geography. And geography, sir, is a main subject. If you don't know about your nature, if you don't know about your earth, uh, how can you all that, that? What do you know about nature? So nature is basically have uh, a lot of components and like human beings, trees, animals, mm -hmm. They all make the nature, the, all the uh, interaction between them make the nature. They make ecosystem in our nature by mm -hmm. their interaction. If we, have, uh, if we don't have animals, if we only have trees and all, we can't live in this kind of nature. As we know that uh, the animals and the trees are very important for us. So the interaction between the trees, animals and uh, what can I say, people uh, make the nature. All right. Human is an animal or not? Actually, sir, I can say that uh, because the human is Homo sapiens. Uh, the scientific name of human is Homo sapiens. And Starting off Earth, how do you think the Earth formed? I considered, sir, that Earth was very hot when it was formed. And after that, it is getting colder. The different kind of weather is getting formed in it. The different kind of seasons getting formed in it. And after that, when it cooled down, and then it start having vegetation because of H2, because of the mixture of H2, the water formed. And after that, the vegetation start in it. After that, animals uh, start going. Okay. Down. Do you think Mars had life ever? Or right now it has life? Mars, actually, sir, we can say that. But the environment there uh, is not adapted. Uh, if uh, we can, if we, if we talk about people, uh, human being and animals, we can't adapt that. And our, also the main reason is water. If we want to have, because without vegetation we can't live. Without uh, oxygen we can't live there. So vegetation is most important thing. So without water, the vegetation can't be grown there. So that's the reason. Mars okay. What do you like most in, in geography? So I, I like uh, studying about our climate uh, and our nature first. I mean, the climate and nature, right? Would you please tell how the Himalayas formed? Actually, sir, I studied about it when I was in uh, ninth class, and it was quite common. There was a, a sea there, Tethys, and uh, there was two uh, lands, I can say, plates there, and when they start getting attached with each other then the water level becoming so down and the when they getting uh, shutter with each other the the land mass getting uh, jammed there 
uh, it start going up there and it start go bro and that's why the Himalaya, and that's how the himalaya okay. what is your opinion about ocean ocean as the oceans are very important for us it is 70% of earth and there is only 30% where are, are uh, the lands so the oceans are important for us because of the evaporation uh, the rain formed because of them when the sun evap uh, the water evaporates goes to sky and then the clouds form so they are important but somehow when the glaciers are start melting the ocean level is getting increased day by day because of global warming so do you think global warming is real threat because that is a gray a gray area in most of the people some people say that yeah it is affecting us and some people say it is not affecting us at all so what's your opinion actually sir according to me it is affecting us because sir uh, global warming uh, is the main reason why our ocean level is increased and as we know that the ocean's water is not uh, been used they that we can't use that because it is very salty and we it is not even drinkable so we can't use it and because it is increasing day by day to so start affecting our lands uh, recently actually one earthquake came right yes. that is in turkey and according to you can we predict earthquake or not yes sir actually we can but it is not possible on the time uh, like uh, if it is uh, of low range then we can uh, maybe we can predict it by the uh, instrument that we used to predict that but if it has uh, it is suddenly happens or the plates getting scattered uh, like Uh, in small amount of times in small interval of time then we can't predict that but it is happening like slowly then we can predict would you please tell me a little about your family yes sir actually there are 24 members in my family uh, my grandparents and my cousins we all live together and uh, uh, right now we are a quite happy family and uh, uh, there are t- uh, we had ten co- uh, we ha- i have 10 cousins including me and uh, There are, I have five brothers and six sisters. What are the benefits? Two benefits and two drawbacks of uh, having joint yes, family. Yes, sir. The benefits are you can share your things if you have some problems. Like if you are financially, if um, one member have financial problems, he, he can share with another one. And yeah, in family, we can help each other. So that's the main thing. Uh, as the joint family is the culture of uh, Asia, mainly the India, right? Indian culture, yes, we can sir. say. Do you think it's a right culture, or do you think uh, you know the separate family or the nuclear family is better option? Actually, the joint family is much more good than nuclear family. Yeah, it's their own choice. If someone don't want to, but sir, if you're living with your grandparents, your parents, then you know a lot of things because they have a lot of experience than us. They know everything more than us, like about life, about anything. We can say about as no, I can't say education because education we are much more. Uh, we better than them but uh, yeah about life we can uh, come to know everything about them we can t- learn a lot of things about life uh, from them so i think joint family is good all right so but in the uh, actually when uh, we talk about indian culture ex- uh, you know leave the yes. family now mm-hmm. just the indian culture we're going to talk about yes. how do you think the indian culture is connected with the nature or with the geography yes, uh, do you have any examples of yes, that yes sir actually in indian culture we worship rivers we worship trees so i think we are very connected to our nature in yeah like in uh, if i talk about people and we uh, are in indian culture no one can cut the people tree because we worship it as brahma so we can't do that and rivers too uh, we start polluting them but there are some of people who don't do that because they uh, consider them as their mother so they don't pollute the rivers uh, why do you think indian culture is connected to the nature not other cultures uh, actually sir indian culture have uh, many things like if i talk about vedas granthas so we l- uh, learn a lot of things about Uh, from them like we worship uh, god surya and uh, Ch- also chandrama and uh, rivers um, i can say mountains too and the trees so it is very uh, but if we see the another cultures they don't uh, have this kind of things like they don't have vedas they don't know how to uh, and they do even they only worship a uh, one god so i think indian culture is much more better than that so do you believe in religion 
I actually sir I do I believe in my own religion that we can work if it comes to worship God then I believe in it but when it's come to start getting fight we are like for our religion is uh, for uh, like our religion is good you're not so that's not a good thing